They shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, Ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. And in the daytime he was teaching in the temple, and at night he went out, and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple, for to hear him. Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. This is Amber and I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed day. Thank you all so much for joining me here on the channel. The first dream that I will be sharing with you today was emailed in by our dear brother in Christ, Alex, where he shares with us about his rapture dream. He shares about hearing the trumpet sounds going off and the chaos that occurs soon after. And in his email, it says, Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Over the years, I have seen so many people having rapture dreams and sharing them on YouTube channels. I just so happened to come across this channel. I love the fact that this channel includes biblical verses. I have been hiding my rapture dream for several years now because I am shy. I normally like to stay to myself and I have kept pushing it off by not telling people about my dream. I don't want you to think I am crazy, which isn't the case. I am just a normal, hardworking young man who loves Jesus with his whole heart. I finally have had the courage to set up and share my experience. One summer day in Florida, which is where I live, my grandmother told me that the Holy Spirit had come upon her, telling her that our Lord and Savior will be coming to get his children. Shortly after that day or night, I went into a very deep sleep. In my dream, the day was sunny. It could have been in the afternoon. I wasn't sure of the time. However, I saw that I was wearing a suit and a tie, 
without the jacket on. I felt as if I was in shape like I had been working out. The suit was kind of tight as I recall. I was in a tall building which seemed to be in a very big city similar to Miami, Dallas, Chicago, New York, or etc. One of my female colleagues then called me on the phone asking me for help. I was on my way to do something so didn't mind going there for my colleague. That's when all of a sudden I heard the loud trumpet sounds going off while I was helping her out on her computer. I didn't think much about it. It then went dark and I noticed that there was a thunderstorm that was coming in. Chaos was going on outside of this building. Cars were slamming on their brakes and people were panicking. I then saw people looking up to the sky. They had saw something. Sure enough, I then looked up. My angel then came to me and said, the Lord has picked you. It is time to go. Then I said, what about my dad? The angel said, don't worry about your dad. Are you coming? I said, yes. Then he gently got me through the glass window and I started going right up into the sky. As I went up, I remember seeing a lot of farmland. Then I saw hundreds of brothers and sisters in Christ that were being called up to the sky with angels that were carrying them up. I then saw King Jesus and he was standing in the sky with such power and glory that was coming right off of him. I tried to wave at him, but I realized how serious this event was as it was occurring. That's when my dream had ended and I woke up. I still think about this experience a lot because my soul is longing to be with King Jesus. I want to share with you a photo that looks very similar as to what I saw in my dream. Enjoy from your brother in Christ, Alex. Thank you so much, Brother Alex, for sharing the urgency of this dream, as well as the encouragement of seeing Jesus in your dream coming for the bride of Christ. It has encouraged me so much, and I am happy that I was able to share it with the channel family. God bless you. If you can find it in your heart and would like to help and support Cloud9 Blessings, that would be so greatly appreciated. I am a single parent and do the narrating editing of the videos you are seeing here on the channel. I make videos for brothers and sisters in Christ of their rapture dreams, visions, near-death experiences, and more. Thank you all so much for your support here on the channel, and God bless you all. The next experience that I will be sharing with you today was emailed in by our brother in Christ, John, where he shares with us a very urgent vision that he had. And in his email, it says, Hello, my name is John, and yesterday I had a vision of Jesus. I really didn't want to tell anyone. It took me a while to even tell my wife. So in my vision, it started off where I had seen Jesus. Jesus was standing over a person and he was healing him. He then spoke, we have to save them. We have to save them. As he turned and looked at me, honestly, I felt at peace when this occurred, but I was also shaken afterwards. 
I felt as though this vision meant that the end time is near and people need to trust in our Heavenly Father. I came across a video of yours and I felt as though I should mention this to hopefully save more people. I have posted about Jesus minus the vision to other outlets and reposting and responding to videos. I do this so that the gospel can be spread. If you can please let people know about this, for it weighs very heavily on my heart. I am going to keep reaching out in other ways as well. May God bless you and all who hear and trust in Jesus. From your brother in Christ, John. Thank you so much, Brother John, for sharing your very intense vision with the channel. It is so wonderful that you are sharing the gospel with as many people as you can in these end times. May God bless you and your family as well. Thank you everyone for watching this video today. I truly hope that it blesses each and every one of you. May God bless you all.